This video is a review of how to find volume. Um, and there's four main shapes we need to review, so let's get started. The first one is a rectangular prism. Now, in sixth grade, they taught you that volume is area of the base. No, in sixth grade, they taught you volume is length times width times height. However, in seventh grade, we taught you volume is area of the base times the height. So let's take a look at what that means in terms of this problem. Area of the base, the base is a rectangle. So we've got the rectangle's length times width, and then the height, area of the base, times the height. So in this case, it's 12 times 5 times 3. Take that, we type into the calculator. 12 times 5 times 3, we get 180. Now, if we were to tell you something like it's only half full, maybe it's a box of staples and it's only half full. If it's half full, we can do two things. We can times it by a half, or if it's half full, we can divide it by two. We can't divide by a half, either times by a half or divide by two. Both of those will give you 90. Okay, rectangular prisms, area of the base times the height. Our second type is a triangular prism. Now a triangular prism is again, area of the base times the height. In this case, our base is a triangle. So base times height divided by two is a triangle times the height. Now there's two separate heights here. This is the height of the triangle and this is the height of the prism. So our base of the triangle is 5.8 times the height of the triangle is 2.7 divided by two, because triangles are always divided by two. Triangle divided by two. Triangle divided by two times the height of the prism. Area of the base, base times height divided by two times the height. So we do 5.8 times 2.7 divided by two times 4.1, and I get 32.103, and that would be feet cubed. Feet. Okay, our third one, um, area of the base times the height, we'll give you the formula, area of the base <clears throat> times the height. So, area of the base, it is a hexagon, so area of the base is going to be side length times the number of sides, do not forget the number of sides, times the apothem divided by 2, again you're dividing by 2, and then times the height. So the side length here is 4. The number of sides is 6. The apothem is 3.5 divided by 2 times the height. So then we do 4 times 6 times 3.5 divided by 2 times 3, and we get 126. Our final one is a pyramid. For a pyramid, we are going to do area of the base times the height. However, for a pyramid, divide by three. Pyramid, divide by three. Pyramid, divide by three. Pyramid, divide by three. So we do area of the base times the height divided by three. So the area of the base, in this case, it's a square. And so therefore, it's going to be four times four. If they don't tell you that this is a four, if they were to take and just cut, not show you this four right here, it would still be, a, as long as they tell you it's a square, you know that both this length and the base, excuse me, the length and the width are the same. So, we do 4 times 4 times 8 divided by 3. 4 times 4 times 8 divided by 3 gives me 42.6 repeating. Now, you can either write it out as 42.6666666. Or you can run it to two decimals, 42.67. I will accept either. If you want to make it a fraction, do 42 and two thirds, that's great too. Um, there's a lot of options of how you can handle that. Those are the four main concepts you need to know how to do. Area of a rectangle, remembering that if it's half full, you're going to divide by two. Area of a triangle, or excuse me, volume of a triangular prism. I said area. Volume of a rectangular prism. Volume of a triangular prism, remembering to divide by two when needed. Volume of a. Uh, Polygonal prism, again, divide by two, and volume of a pyramid, divide by three. And those are our main shapes. You got this.